old man Winter is out there, Michael decided to cheer me up with an indoor picnic. I'm making the flowers, and Michael's making the forest creatures. Well, I'd, I'd love to join you two, but I have this damn reality to deal with. Stephanie, it's almost five o'clock. Have you dusted the bookcase yet? Joanna, I was going to, but as you can see, those top shelves are awfully high for a true petite. <laughs> and I couldn't find the ladder anywhere. I checked every window in the house, but I just couldn't find that draft, Stephanie. <laughs> oh, look. Recommended for use by true petites. <laughs> Stephanie, I want this bookcase dusted by the time we get back from shopping. George? Now, we'll be back in one hour. That gives you 55 minutes to put it off. <laughs> I don't know why I have to do this. Anyone stupid enough to look up there in the first place deserves a face full of dust. Oh! Oh! oh now, don't worry, young lady. A broken toe isn't serious. Of course, you uh, may have to stay off your feet for a while. Oh! <laughs> you know, uh, you're very lucky that it was uh, only the second rung of that ladder. How long will it take to heal? Oh, about two weeks or so. Doctor, that stay off my feet thing, could you put that in writing? <laughs> well, she certainly has a sense of humor. Not, not really. <laughs> now, I just want to say that I don't blame anyone for this, especially the obvious choice, Joanna. <laughs> Stephanie, I was just trying to get you to do your work. Well, I hope you think twice before you try that again. <laughs> it was my ladder. Why couldn't it have been my toe? Doctor, is there anything we should do for Stephanie? No, just keep the pressure off her foot. Now, young lady, you uh, don't be afraid to let other people do things for you. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're really going to have to drill that into her. Michael, it's only a broken toe. Oh, Michael, it was awful. Joanna forced me to climb this rickety old ladder. And when I finally got to the... Oh, it must have been the fifth rung. It broke and I crashed to the floor. Dear God, why? Excuse me, Lamb Chop. I, I just have to talk to the doctor. Dick. Okay, Doc, give me the real poop. I can take it. Will there be any scars? No. Of course, the nail may grow in a little crooked for a few weeks. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dick, I expect whoever is responsible for this heinous crime be swiftly brought to account. You're, you're right, Michael. I'll have the letter taken out and destroyed. <laughs> I'll do it, Dick. Uh, no, you won't, George. Now, no one or thing is to blame. That's right, George. An accident can happen to anyone at any time. Gee, Dick, that's kind of a scary thought. You, you mean this, this never occurred to you before, George? <laughs> no. Wow. We're all a thread away from oblivion. Honey, what are we going to do for the next few weeks without a maid? We've got lots of reservations. Well, simple. We'll just hire a, a temporary maid. Do you think we can find anybody on such short notice who can do Stephanie's work? I don't believe I said that. <laughs>